Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y version. In this video we're going to get a lot of stuff done because, well, I kind of wanted to wait a little bit to see what the post-game content of this game was like and, well, now that I pretty much know the majority of it, we're just going to go along and pretty much take care of most of it. However, there is one thing in particular you want to do pretty soon for a variety of reasons. First of being Mega Evolution. But we'll get into that later. This, guys, is the Pokeball Eporium. They sell a very special item here. The Premier Ball! Yes, you can now buy Premier Balls individually. Something that's kind of not really been on my radar personally, but if you want to do that, that's cool with you. However, there is a side effect to buying a bunch of Premier Balls. If we go to our bags real quick and just see how many of these darn Premier Balls we have... Actually, I just went over that. Yeah, okay. We're going to scroll down. I have 100 Premier Balls. Now, the reasoning behind this is, no, I don't really like the Pokeball per se. In Pokemon X and Y, there is a hidden stat of sorts called Stylishness. And if you have a lot of style, you get certain discounts and you can unlock different things. Let's take, for example, actually, I should probably hop on my bike to do this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Actually, it's just it's pretty fast. But yeah, you want Stylish for a variety of reasons. The number one being it gives you a discount for two Mega Stones, which we'll get into later. But basically, all you have to do is literally buy 100 Premier Balls to max out your stylishness. It is uh, not necessarily broken or overpowered or an exploit of any sorts. It's just something really, really cool. And why did I come inside of this building? I have a checklist that I'm trying to like check stuff off of, make sure that we cover everything today. And yeah, so essentially... Stylish, where's the dang hair salon? I can never find this place when I sneak a need to. It unlocks a lot of things. Take, for example, now we have more haircuts in the this place. The haircut salon. Yeah, I actually want to get my haircut. Um, <laughs> the two that are unlocked is are a medium perm, I believe, and very short. Uh, yeah, and there's also surprising me, but I'm pretty sure that just gives you like a random hairstyle. Yeah, we're gonna go with short. I will have pictures up of the other haircuts right now. So, if you wanna check those out, that's what the medium perm and the very short looks like, at least with my kind of hair. Now, there are completely different hairstyles for chicks. I'm not a girl. So, sorry ladies, but you gotta look that up yourselves. Yeah, look pretty swanky, I don't know. It seems like everybody has the really long hair, so I just decided to be short. I don't know. And yeah, so that is one addition that stylishness gives you. The other, in fact, actually locate this place. I think it is a little ways over here. Yeah, it's right in between the Pokemon Center. It's gonna go who's lady right over here. Now this place, the first time we got in Luminous City, we couldn't really do much in because it is a very fancy place. However, now the lady's like, oh, may I help you? Wow, you're so stylish. Please come in. Oh. And yeah, so now we can, if you have, if you buy 100 Premier Balls, you can come in here and buy all the clothes. These are your girls' clothes. So we're going to have to go upstairs. Yeah, this is actually a very large uh, place to buy clothes. And we're just going to come back here and check them all out real fast. I don't know. The prices are very extreme for this. So, yeah. A fedora for 80000 Kind of silly. Let's actually check them all out. Uh, oh, I think they only sell one of one item. Hmm. This plaid shirt looks pretty darn cool. Oh, I actually... Dang, I kind of want that. Uh, do I want that? I don't know. It actually looks like an Organization 13 code a little bit. Kind of with the steel. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little crazy. And yeah, oh gosh, do I get that or not? Uh, do I get it? Yeah, we're getting it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a uh, sporadic buyer, I assume, and checkered pants, nah, not really my style. I like the ripped jeans look myself. Still no socks, though. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know where all the socks are at and loafers. Seriously, who's going to get loafers? Not a fan, personally. And the bags look pretty cool, too. I don't know. And yeah, um, what's actually... Oh, they have wide-frame sunglasses. Now, the styles, or actually, not the styles, the uh, clothes do change from time to time. So make sure you come back to the stores periodically and see what they got. Let's see our new shirt or combo thing. And yeah, looking pretty cool. I'm cool now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so it's gonna take a dump load of money. But hey, we if we weren't stylish, we couldn't even come here and here to begin with. So yeah, there's literally almost a fourth of my cash gone instantly. <laughs> can you say worth? I don't think you can say it enough. Anyways, um, 
I could show off the Stone Emporium right now, but honestly, there's not a lot of point in doing that since I guess it can probably be in the next episode. I haven't actually decided yet. Hmm, anyway, so we got a haircut, and we got pretty cool, you know, a shirt thing. Now it's time that we fly, and actually, ooh, we do not have the duo with us, or the trio, actually. Or Lime, I should call him, that's his name after all. So we're gonna go ahead, go to the, um, PC and get him out real fast. This camera looks really weird if you're not on the roller skates. I'm so used to being on the roller skates. It's kind of funny. Yeah, we're just gonna do that, and... I understand this may be, like... Why are you even showing these things? I don't know. I just want to have a sense of completion, you know? And, oh my gosh. Lime. Lime, lime. Lime time, everybody. It's the lime time. Now, there's not going to be probably any trainer battles in this episode. I just honestly wanted to show off some of the other stuff that the game has to offer. Anywho, now we're actually going to do a tiny bit of a side quest. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a side quest if you have a egg slash, but... If you don't, it's kind of not. Anyways, we're going to head to Amberette Town very briefly to do something that, well, I didn't even know existed at the beginning of the game. I thought, I didn't even know that HM would be in the game. Actually, technically, it's not an HM, it's a TM, so it's 100% optional. But yeah, simply come over here. Where is, oh, there you are. <laughs> here, have Rock Smash. This kind lady is going to give us this TM, which can help us break rocks and might even aid us and capturing a legendary Pokemon or two. Anywho, what we're actually here to do, though, more importantly, is if you come all the way down here and pick up this little item, it is a heart scale. Heart scales are very important this generation because, well, they're kind of used by the move relearner, which, yes. Excalibur would learn a move, basically, that's exclusive to him. If you have a heart scale and you can go relearn it. Now, do not be fooled. I don't think Dewblade actually learns the move that we're trying to get. I think you literally 100% required to get a heart scale, but yet again, don't quote me on that. Anywho, here we are in Dendamel Town. Also, this this lady, this lady over here sells milk. Just thought I'd point that out. Yeah, I'll take a dozen. She's going to give us a bunch of milk. It's cool. I got some cash to blow. You never know when you might need some milk after all. <laughs> Anyways, uh, where is... Oh, I think this is the house right up here. Let's check it out. Hey, get in there, dude. Come on. And yes, this kind sir over here is the move deleter. And this kind elderly woman over here is the move reminder. Yes. And she is going to teach one of our Pokemon a move it previously forgot. Now, we're going to... Well, the only person really that needs to relearn a move is Excalibur. So we're going to choose him. And which move does it really need to relearn? None other than King's Shield. This is the most broken move in any Pokemon game ever. Seriously, it's stupid. So we're going to get rid of Shadow Claw, because honestly, it's just not as powerful as the moves we have now. You know, Sinking, Iron Head, and Sacred Sword, you know. So, now yeah, goodbye Shadow Claw. You definitely helped us a lot in this adventure, but your usefulness has kind of come out of its way. And yeah, King Shield actually puts Aegislash back into Shield mode, so the move is kind of important, and we give her the Heart Scale as, well, payment. <laughs> Now, what we need to do, there's actually one little Easter egg I want to show off. We're going to do a little bit of more shopping. I know this is like, oh, dude, I don't care about your shopping and all your stupid clothes. But this, you, you may want to reconsider because this one garment in particular is kind of cool. Now, this hat isn't really gained like other hats are. You have to do, well, something in particular. And if we come, where is it? I think it's, yeah, that's up here. We need to find some clothes that are relatively bright. Now, hopefully, they will sell me it here. And if not, I will be thoroughly annoyed. Let's go over to sneakers. Yes, red sneakers. We need these very briefly. For a reason. That I'll get into in a little bit. And yeah, red sneakers. Honestly, not a fan. I don't know. They're alright. I personally prefer black shoes. Or Actually, yeah, I think every... <laughs> I think for the past, like, year, every article of shoes I've had, not article of shoes, excluding flip-flops, I've been like, black, please come back. <laughs> oh, she was talking about the store. I was like, oh, I thought she was madly in love with me. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> we need one more article of clothing, which is, uh, I'm going to feel like an idiot if it's not here. I believe it's in Anastar City. Which, if you remember... This is actually where we need to meet Professor Sycamore, because he apparently needs to talk to us about something. 
you're probably going to get that out of the way, too. It's basically just side quest the episode. Sorry if that bothers you, but we're getting a lot done. We're learning a lot about the uh, Kalos region, the whole stylish factor and everything. Now, there are other ways to get stylish points, but... And I repeat, but that they are very slow and unreliable, okay? Literally, the fastest in the game is getting those Ultra Balls, or not Ultra Balls, Premier Balls. Now, the second article of clothing we want is a very colorful hat, which purple's gonna do. I don't know if other hats work. I just know for, for certain that this one works, and yes, we would take that. Does this, play, does this lady say please come back, too? Because I swear, like, they don't say that. Oh, yeah, she does. Like, the music stopped. I'm like, I was like, oh, what? What's going on? <laughs> kind of freaked me out. Anyways. <laughs> so, we're going to use Lime once more. And now we're going to fly to, well, I kind of forgot to do this, but Colloid City. I feel so stupid because I was like, oh, gosh, I wanted to make mention of this in the other episode. And a lot of people were like, oh, you idiot, you forgot the hat. You could have gotten the hat of Pangoro. And it's like, yeah, I suck. Anyways. <laughs> so come up here, and if you have both uh, colorful shoes and colorful hats, this kind of lady over here says um, she wants some inspiration. And as a result, because we inspire her, she is going to give us the bamboo spring hat. Which, um, if you know anything about bamboo, it's kind of a delicacy. Um, if you happen to be a panda. So we're going to switch into that. Now, this is seriously my favorite hat in the game. Like, I just saw this and was like, thank you, Nintendo. Because I would, honest, if honestly, that hat existed in real life, I would wear it in an instant. That's just the type of human being I am. Probably not in public all the time, but if I was at a theme park or something, you better believe I'm going to have a Pangoro hat on my head. <laughs> and he was come behind here and uh, changing this new hat. I love this hat so much. And now that we have the Bamboo Spring Hat, oh, our wardrobe has been finally complete. It's pretty darn cool, and look at that. Mm! I'm styling. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you can have like sunglasses on him, so he's like extra cool, I guess. I don't know. I really like this. So yeah, my trainer is, for the time being, kind of complete. I think it looks pretty cool. You don't mind me saying. Anyhow. But yeah, back to Professor Sikkim, where he kind of wanted us to do something up here, right? We gotta, gotta do something, and uh, uh, I don't know what it is, but apparently found something out about... Mega Evolution. Hey, brother, what's up, man? Why, hello, Johnny. Running around all over Kalos is actually rather tiring, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm the one making you do that, aren't I? Terribly sorry about that. Nah, it's not a big deal. Well, Serena may have already told you, but I found a way to power up the Mega Ring. Before we get to that, however... Hmm, let's talk about Mega Stones briefly. My theory is that they're special stones, irradiated by the light and the energy of the legendary Pokemon Evil fired from the ultimate weapon 3,000 years ago. And that's what I think they are. It's even possible the stones like Fire Stones were what turned into these Mega Stones. So what's the Mega Ring that you were holding? The Mega Stone transforming feelings felt towards Pokemon into some kind of wavelength. The Mega Ring works in a similar way to how this object over here works. It's an object that changes sunlight into a mysterious light. For one hour straight at 8 p.m., this sundial starts emitting light. This mysterious object has towered over the city for over 3,000 years, huh? Its relationship to the Mega Ring isn't understood at all yet. Now let's get down to the heart of the matters. Johnny, touch the sundial. Alright. Hope I don't get electrocuted or anything. Oh god, no. No, we're okay. Hmm. You were exposed to the legendary Pokemon's energy in Team Flare's secret hideout. And the Mega Ring has absorbed the power for the Sundial. These two powers have combined to upgrade your Mega Ring. Now it will react to underground Mega Stones, but only when the Sundial is emitting light. I'm sure these stones hide in every corner of Kalos. Use this power to find them. And yes, guys, now we can finally get every single Mega Stone in the game, excluding some version exclusives, okay? Just don't, just don't get mad at me because I said that was wrong. And, um, yes, excluding Legendary Pokemon in one event that we're gonna get into in next episode. That is, for the most part, all the post-game content of Pokemon X and Y. We saw the Battle Mansion. We could just Oh, no, we gotta go to the battle chat, too. I forgot about that. So we'll probably do that in the oncoming episodes. 
But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. We got a lot done this episode. Excalibur got King's Shield, a very powerful attack. We got super stylish by buying 100 Premier Balls. We got an awesome new hat, a fancy new coat, and some pretty snazzy sneakers, if you don't mind me saying, even though I don't like the color. Mm. And in the next episode, let's play Pokemon X. Wait, no, this isn't Pokemon X, it's Pokemon Y. We are going to do a special mission for a special someone. I'll just leave it at that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. So yeah, bye.